Richard Ross joined the Philadelphia Police Department in 1989 and rose through the ranks to become police commissioner. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live at police headquarters with a look at some of his biggest challenges as the leader of the police department. Greg? Jessica, this January would have marked four years as now former police commissioner Richard Ross tonight. We're taking a look at his tenure over those past four years. Richard Ross sworn in as Philadelphia's top cop on January 5th, 2016. We need to be more responsive and more accountable to all of our neighborhoods. His first test coming just two days later. When patrol officer Jesse Hartnett was nearly executed by a man in flowing Muslim garb, the incident caught on camera gained international attention. According to him, he believed that the police defend laws that are contrary to the teachings of the Quran. Ross led the department through a time of increased violence. The city's homicide rate is the highest in over a decade. Last year, 353 people killed, an 11% increase since 2017. With more than four months left, more than 203 homicides have been committed in 2019. Another night of senseless carnage in the city, but we want to keep doing what we do. His department also facing intense scrutiny with two other cases. The first in April 2018, when Philadelphia officers arrested two black men at a Rittenhouse Starbucks after a manager there called 911 saying they were trespassing. Ross backtracking on his initial defense of what happened. I should have said the officers acted within the scope of the law and not that they, did, they didn't do anything wrong. Words are very important. More recently in June, the former commissioner firing 13 officers for alleged racist, sexist, and inappropriate posts on Facebook. 72 officers were initially placed on administrative leave after a watchdog group discovered the controversial posts from officers in Philadelphia and other cities throughout the U.S. It really makes me sick because we are in a position to know better. But perhaps Ross's ultimate challenge came just last week. Shot fired inside. When a gunman opened fire in North Philadelphia, shooting six of his men. It was a, a truly harrowing experience for all those hours. The commissioner himself negotiating with the shooter and ending the largest police mass shooting in the department's history after nearly eight hours, miraculously without anyone killed. There are many heroes from last night. Probably too many to mention by name. The department's handling of the shooting, earning the commissioner this title from the mayor who just accepted his resignation. I'd like to take this opportunity to, to introduce the best police commissioner in, in America. Yeah. Now we reached out to Richard Ross for comment tonight, but did not receive a response. I'm live here at Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Greg Argus. CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of Richard Ross's resignation. We will bring you all of the latest developments, including tomorrow's expected news conference with Mayor Jim Kenney on TV and online at CBSPhilly.com.